before we begin, if you want to see music bios or more good videos like this, hit the subscribe button. And without further ado, on to our feature presentation. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I want to talk about my 2023 BET Awards predictions. And for some reason, BET took forever getting these nominees out. I usually post an official video of the nominees, and but because they took so long this year, this year there's no need for it. It goes to show you that this year's BET Awards may be the most competitive we've seen in some time. Also, with these predictions, I could officially celebrate the two-year anniversary on this channel. If you don't know, my first video was a prediction on this awards show. Anyway, if you don't know, the BET Awards will take place on June 25th. This year's theme is hip hop as it hip hop the genre is celebrating 50 years and a host has not been announced as of the making of this prediction video. And I hope it's pray and I hope and pray it's not to Raji P. Henson. So without further ado, let's take a look at the nominees. First nominees we have are the nominees for Best Female R&B Pop Artist. The nominees are Ari Lennox, Beyonce, Coco Jones, Her, Lizzo, SZA, and Timbs. And can someone explain to me why Her is nominated? I felt like she hasn't released much of anything last year. And I'm kind of surprised that Chloe Bailey all did not get a nomination. Also, it's funny... I don't have my prediction video that I put Rihanna on here off the strength of Lift Me Up, a song that Tim's wrote, and Tim's ended up the one nominated. Found that kind of kind of funny and weird at the same time. But as for winners goes, I think it's gonna be between two, maybe three artists. And those and those three may be Beyonce, SZA, and maybe Lizzo. But I feel like I'm gonna be saying this a lot this in this particular award sh this video I'm gonna roll with Beyonce to win best female R&B pop artist she's won it many times in the past last year was like her comeback and and you know BET loves Beyonce next we have is best male R&B pop artist and the nominees are Blacks, Brent Fayez, Burna Boy, Chris Brown, Drake, Usher, and The Weeknd. And honestly, I'm not surprised that Drake is nominated. He basically got nominated here for the strength of, honestly, never mind, a very ter which was a mediocre filler album. And as for winners go, usually the past couple of years has been between Chris Brown and The Weeknd. The weekend finally winning one last year, but I know for a fact I think this one's going to be Chris Brown's award, given that he is one of the most nominated artists this year. For some reason, the BT Awards is the only award show that will give him a chance. And yes, he's riding off the strength of Under the Influence, and it pretty much going to sympathize with them as much as the crap. He had to go through with the AMAs. If you know, you know. So I'm going to roll with Chris Brown for Best Male R&B Pop Artist. Best Female Hip Hop Artist nominees are Cardi B, Coyla Ray, Glorilla, Lotto, Ice Spice, Megan Thee Stallion, and Nicki Minaj. And this category could not avoid Cardi B. But she does have a case at some point. That cause she did release a single last year. But in my honest opinion, she will not win this one. Honestly, other than Cardi B and maybe Lotto, I think this one's anyone's category. I can see this one going in any direction. But because of that, I'm going to have to go with the safest pick here. And that is Nicki Minaj. 
And mostly I feel the strength of Super Freaky Girl. I think last year was also a comeback year of her. She had her first solo number one. And Nikki. She pretty much, like I said, this is her comeback year. And Nikki is pretty much the safest pick to make for now. So I'm at the role of Onika Mirage here. For best male hip hop artist, we have 21 Savage, Drake, Future, J. Cole, Jack Harlow, Kendrick Lamar, and Lil Baby. And I actually think they got this one right. But I think this one's a three category person. And it's going to be between Drake, Future, and Kendrick. Because they all had three of the biggest albums released last year in the genre. But as for. Oh, I would say 21 Savage too, but we'll talk about th him later on. But if I had to choose on who do I think is going to win, give me Kendrick Lamar. More so because of Kendrick's big Grammy night. And if you don't know, BET does look at the Grammys and will probably give him a win off of that alone. So, and with him winning three of the four in the hip hop category and losing all the general categories again, I think this one's going to go to Kendrick Lamar. Best group nominees are The City Girls, Drake and 21 Savage, Division, Flow, Maverick City Music and Kirk Franklin, Quavo and Takeoff, Unk and Few, and Juan Moore. And before I talk about this category, just got to say rest in peace to take off. Take it away from this earth entirely too soon. And when I look at this category, we're seeing groups that haven't broke through yet and yet somehow get nominated. And that's a good thing because it's giving them more exposure. Talking to you, Flo. Um, and you know what? I do think Flo has a chance to win alongside of Drake and 21 Savage and Drake 21 Savage City Girls and Quavo and Takeoff. I think it's going to be between those four for this one and for as a winners go only because they had Billboard Hot 100 success. I got to go with Drake and 21 Savage here. As much but if it was up to me Flo would definitely take this category. Now we have Best Collaboration. Nominees are Lotto featuring Mariah Carey and DJ Khaled for Big Energy Remix, Pink Panthers featuring Ice Spice for Boys a Liar Part 2, Chris Brown featuring Wizkid, Call Me Every Day, King Combs featuring Kodak Black, Can't Stop, Won't Stop, Metro Boomin featuring The Weeknd and 21 Savage for Creepin', Hit Kid and Glorilla, FNF Let's Go, Glorilla and Cardi B, Tomorrow 2, and Future featuring Drake and Tim's Wait For You. And this one's a weird category, but I'll say this much, I do not like Big Energy being nominated. The song's about two years old, and and the remix, I could care less. Even though it was performed last year, I could care less about that song. Which means, as for winners goes, I think it's going to be basically everything in the bottom row. It's going to come down to those four songs. And knowing how BT loves female hip-hop all of a sudden, it's going to be a Glorilla song winning. But which one? Which one I'm going to choose? I'm going to choose Tabar too because I feel like that one's a slightly stronger song than FNF. I know FNF was what broke Glorilla into the mainstream, but I feel like Tabar 2 was more polished for her. FNF seemed like it was more amateurish for me at least. Tabar 2 is more, I'm here and this is what I do. So I'm going to roll with Glorilla and Cardi B for this one. Best Actor nominees are Amin Joseph, 
Brian Tyree Henry, Damson Idris, Daniel Kaluuya, Demetrius Lilmich Flanori Jr., Donald Glover, and Michael B. Jordan. And on here, off of the strength of Creed 3 and maybe Black Panther Wakanda Forever, I'm going to roll with Michael B. Jordan to win this one. I also feel like he is the safest pick to make in this category. Best Actress, and the nominees are Angela Bassett is going to win. This one's cut and dry. I don't see it giving going to anyone else. Hey, auntie, and let's move on. Best Movie, nominees are Black Panther, Wakanda Forever, Creed Three, Emancipation, Nope, The Woman King, Till, and I want to dance with somebody. And to be honest with you, I've only seen two of these movies. And that is Black Panther, Wakanda Forever, and The Woman King. Those are only two thing, movies I've seen. Have not seen the others. Maybe due to lack of interest. But I'm going to explain why Woman King is going to win this category, win best movie. It's not only a really good movie. It's because what happened to it at the Oscars. If you don't know, the Oscars failed to nominate this movie for anything. All soundtrack, actress roles, supporting actress, no best picture didn't get nominated at all. And and even but the Grammys did give the give one of their songs a nomination for their awards. And it's kind of a shame because The Woman King is a pretty good movie. I think BET is going to sympathize that, and especially the fact that they love black women running things. I think the Woman King is going to win. Next we have is Sportswoman of the Year. Nominees are Alexis Morris, Allison Felix, Angel Reese, Candace Parker, Naomi Osaka, Serena Williams, and Shakari Richardson. And the one takeaway I have from this category is Aja Wilson, the WNBA MVP and Women's Basketball Champion, is a nominated. That's, that's actually a problem, folks. But... As for winners go, I'm going to look, th look at this one as a cultural standpoint. Who did it for the culture? So with that being said, I think with the rise of Angel Reese being that high, given that her LSU Tigers won the national championship, thank God it didn't have to play South Carolina, I'm going to go with Angel Reese to win. And given the fact that she is one of the fastest rising stars in the sports world, I think she, she'll win. And for Sports Man of the Year, nominees are Aaron Judge, Bubba Wallace, Gervonta Davis, Jalen Hurts, LeBron James, Patrick Mahomes II, and Steph Curry. And like I said with Angel Reese, I think this one's for the culture. And given that how much black women love Jalen Hurts, I think he wins. I think he wins this one pretty easily. He's also been on Essence Magazine. His Eagles went to the Super Bowl where they lost to Patrick Mahomes. And Jalen Hurts, thanks to his woman agent, he was able to lock down a massive contract that made him the highest paid player in NFL history for about a week. So I'm going to roll with Jalen Hurts to win. And I do not, and I still don't like the Philadelphia Eagles.
Best international act. Last year, I did not do a prediction for this category, but I feel like th there is a bit of an interest enough for this year for me to do one. So the nominees are Aya Nakabura from France, Ira Star from Nigeria, Burna Boy from Nigeria, Central C from the UK, Ella May from the UK, KO from South Africa, Lennon from Brazil, Stormzy from the UK, Tia Cola from France, and Uncle Waffles from South Africa. And I apologize if I mispronounce any of these names. I don't think I did, but again, apologies. But this category is a little cut and dry this year. Burner Boy off of the strength of Last Last being kind of a song of the summer last year, he's definitely going to win. And I'll be three out of four from him. Or four out of five for him if that happens. The BET Her Award. Nominees are Lizzo About Damn Time. Pink Panthers featuring Ice Spice, Boys a Liar, Beyonce, Break My Soul, Megan Thee Stallion for her, I honestly forgot that song even exists, Rihanna Lift Me Up, Coil Array Players, and Lizzo for Special. And this category is kind of weird. I feel like, usually when I look at the BT Her Award or the Centric Award, they usually lean towards contemporary R&B. This year, they added a couple of Hip hop and poppy songs for this category. And I'm glaring at Boys a Liar and Players. Also, BET bungled a major opportunity by not not by snubbing ICU by Coco Jones and Free Mind by Tim's. I felt like they missed a huge opportunity to give that song a nomination. But as for a winner, I think this one, like I said before BET loves Beyonce I think Break My Soul is going to win this one but if it was up to me it probably would have been about damn time by Lizzo or even Rihanna left me up best new artist nominees are Amber Coco Jones Dochi Flo Glorilla Ice Spice and Lola Brooke and BT is going to remind us of this over and over for the first time ever. This is an all-female category. They will, they will not shut up about that. So be warned. But I feel like they all of them had semi-good years. But as for a winner goes, I think it's going to be between Glorilla and Ice Spice. But I'm going to give a better edge over Glorilla given how she broke through I think she had a nice decent following Ice Spice hers is happening fast and you know what it's actually closer than what you think and don't forget Glorilla did have a pretty big BET Hip Hop Awards night last year although I don't even touch up on that award show but I did notice that so I'm going to roll with Glorilla to win for Best New Artist. Album of the Year. Nominees are Glorilla, Anyway is Life Great, Chris Brown, Breezy, DJ Khaled, God Did, Drake, Fe Drake and 21 Savage for Her Loss, Kendrick Lamar, Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers, Renaissance Act 1, and SZA for S.O.S. And I think this is the category that might have caused a delay on nominations because this was so strong. So strong that Lizzo, Lil Baby, and Future all got snubbed. But as for a winner, I think it's going to come down to that bottom row. Kendrick Lamar, Beyonce, and SZA. SZA, because she had like 10 weeks at number one to be start off the year. Beyonce, Renaissance at one because... She broke a record at the Grammys for this album, and the Grammys failed to give her another album of the year, and Kendrick Lamar because of his Grammy success. And I'm going to sound like a broken record here. BET loves Beyonce. And I think Renaissance is going to win this one. But if it was up to me, I think SZA will walk the dog in this category, but I know that's probably not going to happen.
the Viewer's Choice Award. And this category was not around last year, but they decided to bring it back this year on a Song of the Year basis. And the nominees are Beyonce, Break My Soul, Drake featuring 21 Savage, Jimmy Cooks, SZA, Kill Bill, Jack Harlow, First Class, Nicki Minaj, Super Freaky Girl, Lizzo, About Damn Time, Burner Boy, Last Last, and Future featuring Jake and Tim's Wait For You. And this is a fan voted award, which means I don't know what the fans are going to be, but if I base this one off the fan bases, it's going to be between Beyonce, the, the Beehive, and the Barbs, and maybe maybe Drake fans too. I don't know what their names are. But anyway, it's going to be a tough, it's going to be a pretty close battle between Beyonce and Nicki. But I'm going to give the slight edge over Beyonce on the Beehive. I don't know why, but that's what I'm feeling right now. It could easily go to Super Freaky Girl, though, just saying. And the last category for this video, Video of the Year. And the nominees are Chris Brown, W.E. Warm Embrace, PZ, Jeezy, and Real Boss and Richie featuring Rob 49, 2 million up, Lizzo, About Damn Time, Steve Lacey, Bad Habit. I'm surprised this is the first time I said his name in this video. Jack Harlow, First Class, SZA, Kill Bill, and Glorilla and Cardi B for Tomorrow 2. And I'm going to say this much. Kill Bill better win this one because that video is pretty amazing. I love the concept of it being based off of the 2003 movie that featured Uma Thurman and Vivica Fox, directed by Quentin Tarantino. And SZA basically made it her own video. And if this doesn't win, unless it's about damn time or bad habits, I'll have a problem. And on that note, that will conclude my BET Awards predictions. I feel like I've said the names Beyonce a lot. And I feel like SZA, she got to walk away with something this year. But anyway, who do you think going to win in the comments below? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.